wow. If I had known that I was going to do a show at 3 in the morning, I would have asked the network if I could do it for my bed. <laughs> the NBC studios in Chicago, Illinois, the home of Deep Dish Pizza, it, the Chicago Dog, and whether it's so bipolar, it should be on medication. It's After Hours with Ellie Mueller. On tonight, on tonight this morning show from W. From WXAV's The Midday Sports Report, the legendary Sean Anderson and Mike Rankin, and Nye Mance, who's the best who's the best host of the new show, Carson Daly's intern, and Megan's Kelly personal chef, Ellie Mueller. Thank you so much. Hi, and welcome to After Hours. My name is Ellie Mueller, and yes, this is an actual show. I know that a lot of people are asleep right now because it is about 3 in the morning, but NBC still asked me to do the show this early in the morning because... Austin Mahone has just replaced Carson Daly. Becky G and Rebel Wilson have just gotten two half-hour shows of their own, and the network wanted someone who could let the Today Show host know that yes, the world still exists at this hour. So here I am. <laughs> However, I can only stay for five minutes because NBC is legally required to run infomercials at this hour. Now you've probably heard of this new sleep study. It says that sleep deprivation can cure depression. Now, that is a fine line to walk. Either you cure your depression, or you become a guest star on the next season of The Walking Dead. Finally, it was reported this past summer that Fifth Harmony is going to break up following the release of the band's fourth album. So wait, does that mean that Lauren Haregi is going to host her own late night talk show next spring? Great! So I guess that means that Selena Gomez is going to talk to relationship advice so she can host her own late night talk show. Don't worry, we have an interesting show for you folks tonight or this morning. From the Midday Sports Report on WXAV, Sean Anderson and Mike Rankin will be joining us. All right, do me a favor and say hi right now to Brittany King. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Ellie. Thanks, everybody. Ellie, can we please talk Oh, about sorry, Brittany, but I got to stop you right there. This is a really short show, and you have all the way but 25 minutes to sleep. <laughs> Please share that moment with your friends on Twitter during lunch. You'll make some more friends that way. Anyway, I have a top five list for you folks, and this is a really good one. Tonight, so this morning's category, top five signs that you will never find true love. Okay, here we go. Number five, you're hosting a show that is only watched by past opportunities in the past. Number four, take the rejection of being too desperate. Number three, you take relationship advice from Justin Bieber. Yeah, baby, baby, oh. Number two, blind dates even think you're ugly. That's dirty. That's dirty. And number one, while everyone is out, you're at home rearranging your Justin Bieber posters. There you go. Anyway, my guests tonight or this morning are huge radio personalities here in Chicago. As a matter of fact, they are the hosts of a very popular show entitled Midday Sports Support, which airs on WXAV 88.3 FM right here in Chicago every Friday afternoon at 2 o'clock. I'm really glad that they could be here on my first show because they're the only guys who aren't appearing on any other talk show, and they're also the only guests who do a show this early in the morning. Ladies and gentlemen, do me a favor and say hi to Charlie Anderson and my friend. Hey! Yeah. Alright, hey you boys! Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on the new show. Now, for the folks who don't tune into your radio show every Friday afternoon here in Chicago, how would you describe the midday sports report? I'd say it's hectic. It's a lot of fun. You know, we talk about a lot of different things. Uh, there's a lot of energy in, in the room, so that makes it easier. We have four people on three months, so it's a lot Everybody, Everybody's yap. Yeah, but then again, so are the political debates. Ooh. So. <laughs> Still tapping. Boom! Yeah. How long have you been doing the Midday Sports Report? And how did it all begin for the two of you? I started the show, at least the time slot and the idea, back when I was a freshman. So it's been going, at least for me, about two and a half years. And I met Mike a little into my freshman year, so we brought him on. So it's probably been about two years, at least, doing a show with Mike and all the guys on there. Yeah, I think it was 2015 I showed up to St. Xavier. So we started then, and we ran with it. And now, you know, it's the most popular sports show on the radio. Yeah, who's going to uh, replace you when you're gone? Boy, we still got to figure that out, huh? That's a good yeah. question. Woo -wee. Now, being the host of a pop sports show on WXAB, the topic of football would come to play very, very, very frequently. And now that we're in the heart of the football season, do you think that this year would actually be the year of the Bears, or do we have to wait a little bit longer? 
Well, I'm thinking the Bears are done. I don't think they're good enough to make the playoffs. Uh, they're getting there. You know, the defense is okay. Uh, the offense is slowly progressing, but they don't have enough playmakers. I just I don't think they're a good team. Mike's a pessimist. I'm an optimist. I look at that NFC North. It's weak. Aaron Rodgers got injured. Bears are finally favorites against the Packers for the first time since 2008. They're going to win this week. I feel like the Bears, you know, ball can like keep rolling for the Bears, keep their playoff hopes alive. Yeah, they haven't won the Super Bowl since 85, though. 85! That's when uh, they won that Super Bowl last. And that's because they've lost a lot of games and players due to multiple injuries, foul plays, etc., etc., etc. So, you have any advice for the uh, Chicago Bears as the football season approaches? Approaches its uh, climax. You know, look right in the camera. Well, yeah. is uh, are the Packers are the Packers publicly owned, right? Technically, uh, yeah, they're publicly. Technically, owned. so we should yeah. buy a share of the Chicago Bears and just I start running the team. Yeah, we got to get rid of the McCaskies, and then the first thing that we will do is fire John Fox. <laughs> John Fox will <laughs> hey. be watching and be homeless after this. Yeah, get more, get better players, play better. Well, you own the uh, Chicago Bears. Come be in for our twenty five percent. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, until the Bears can get their act together, I guess we can look for the Cubs and the Blackhawks, huh? Well, the Cubs are the best team in Chicago. No doubt. For now. No doubt. The Sox will be back in 2020. Yeah, keep dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't stop living for it. Stop dropping wool. Okay. Well, thank you, boys, for coming on to the new show. I wish that we had more time, but you know how the network is. You know, keep up the good work, and hopefully we'll see you in... A major TV network in the very near future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that's the show for now, folks. My thanks to Charlie Anderson and Mike Rankin, my announcer Brittany King, and all of the other people who work behind the scenes. Now, tomorrow, we will have Craig Kilborn and the rap from my basement. Oh, great. Now, I got book an exterminator for tomorrow's show, too. Great. Well, thank you for allowing me to be your TV nightcap. Until tomorrow, this is the only viewer saying that's the news, and I am. Good night, good morning.